Yo, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at Shay. Uh, Shay is very different from uh, what you would expect from a sniper class because the, the beginner starting weapon is absolute trash. This is something that you actually have to get really, really used to and something that I didn't know is uh, how to actually uh, utilize it at, at the best ability. So today we're going to actually go ahead and just use it. This one right here is my favorite weapon by far right now. Uh, this thing is a hell of a lot faster than the base weapon, but we're going to use the base weapon. That way you guys can see a little bit what it's like just to get into Shea uh, initially. Um, I'm not going to be worried about the cards right now. Don't worry about the cards. We'll get to that in the future. I don't have good cards. All I have is crap. So we're just going to we're going to worry about that stuff another time. But uh, let's get into a mission. That way I can show you guys a little bit of what Shea is like and how she plays. Okay, so uh, I'm pretty much doing the same exact mission that I did with uh, Herrick. Uh, but um, we're just going to kind of do the solo mode of it. That way you can kind of see what it's like. Um, the, the first thing you want to know is that the actual ability, which I used just now. It basically works as, uh, as a way to kind of like get rid of the aggro. You see, he can't see me right now. He's going to try to find me, but he can't see me. But the closer you are to him, the more you're exposing yourself. You see how it's blinking? Uh, eventually, if you do it right in his face where you like look directly at him, he's actually uh, just going to be able to see you right away. So like in this case, like you see this guy's creeping up. He's going to come and try to shoot at me. I'll do the power on him. He can't see now. So now I can sneak up behind him and do some melee or just go ahead and grab him. You can do whatever you like. Uh, in, in PvP, when you're fighting against an antagonist or you're fighting against player as an antagonist, um, the basic, the thing you need to know is just to stay as far away as possible as you can. So you want to do it very soon. That way you see, they can't see you. You can kind of move positions right now. He could probably see me as a player because once it's blinking yellow or is it like actually like looks yellow, he can see you. You see, cause I'm kind of close. So right now, uh, an actual player would probably be able to see me. What the hell? That was kind of random. But yeah, uh, learning how to master that that whole um, that ability right there is definitely an awesome thing because you can really take advantage of like getting getting closer to the enemy. That way you can kind of like zero in ground, so you're not just like straight up exposed while you're running through. Like, watch, I'll show you in this position right here. We're gonna show you. Like you see, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually get oh shit something behind me. Take care of him real quick. Okay, so um. I'm going to try to do it to as much mobs as I can. You see that sniper and then that guy down there. All right. So now we can kind of. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was a bad time to cross. <laughs> that was a really bad time to cross. But basically, you can you can uh, actually grab up to about like three or four different um, uh, guys at once. Actually, you can get more now that I think about it. I totally forgot. Like there was one time that I actually grabbed like an entire group. Like there was like a bunch of people, but they have to be line of sight. That's the only downside. There is a mod that lets you be able to like do it by just looking at their like aura or whatever, you know? So uh, that's pretty cool. That way you can kind of zero in ground a little bit better because right now you see I'm having a hard time because you know, everything in the whole freaking world is looking at me. Uh, this guy right here, you see, I'm going to do it to this guy. Shit. You see now he can't see me. So now I can get a, a better chance to like get close up to do some melee, you know? Because you can catch somebody by surprise like that real easily. Uh, so her power is definitely something that takes a lot of time to get used to. I've been exp <laughs> I'm explaining it a little bit too much and I haven't even talked about the gun yet. Um, but yeah, that, her power is definitely something that's going to take some time to get used to. Uh, her actual gun, though, is a totally different freaking ball game. You would expect it to be kind of like Herrick, where it's just like, you know, point and shoot. But that's, that's not how this gun works. Uh, let me show you. Let me try to get a better position. I don't want to be here. I feel like too exposed. So let's. Uh... Okay, here we go. Here's a good example. So basically, when when this whole thing is turning, you see how it's going really slow. It's because I'm not aiming directly at him. You have to aim at the actual like red dot part. This is something that I had no idea about. Um, it took a long time for me to figure out. You see, right in the red dot, right in the center, it loads faster. So the more you 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 hold it right in the center of that red dot the faster the damage is going to scale up. So basically, like you see how right in the red dot, boom. You see, it actually scales up real fast, but you have to aim right in the center of the red dot. You see, 
you know the base weapon does a ton of damage so you don't have to charge it up all the way uh you can actually just charge it halfway like you saw and i still did a 250 damage like if you if you do that to like let's say a, let's a herrick on the team that's like uh and and uh an antagonist you can easily kill them the, the guy in like a second you know like he wouldn't even realize what happened you see like right there boom you know, it, it just takes a little bit of a second to actually, like, rack up the damage. But the, the farther out you do it, the more damage you're going to do. So, the whole thing is aiming with the actual, like, the red dot. See, like, put your mouse right on the red dot. You see, it loads up faster, and then you shoot. Um, as you keep doing this, you're going to overheat the weapon. So, that's something to keep in mind also. Uh, so, you have to pre basically reload to uh, get get the the heat off of the weapon basically um this is something that i kind of wish that this class didn't have like ammo you know what i mean like i feel like this class doesn't shouldn't need ammo um it, it should just be just that charge because that charge takes a long time especially when you're playing it with the that new weapon that i got it has like a faster rate of fire um and it also charges faster but it doesn't do as much damage and then it also like racks up the heat like extremely fast like kind of ridiculously fast so it, it doesn't make it very viable in like some situations you know but i like that it's actually fast you see like boom i can take care of somebody real quick especially when you see when you get them right in dead sight you're not trying to aim for their head you're just aiming for that red dot right in the center that's all you do but yeah, this is uh, this is pretty much Shay. We're gonna try to finish up the mission here. Um, I'm gonna do this solo and see if I can actually finish it. But we need to get some of this olive right now. So let's work on that. Oh come on! Of course you would. Oh, you see, they always do that. But they try to juke you out. So I'm gonna stay up here. Actually, I'll probably just like wait until more mobs show up. But you can get some really nice melee in with Shay, especially when you're playing um, antagonists. Like, you you do the the whole bewitching thing and forget it. Like, you can just slaughter somebody, eat them for breakfast. You see, I need to go get that that girl right there. I need to go get her. So I'm just gonna actually just take a run to the other side. Hi. All right. You see, I'm gonna grab a lot of bewitch targets. Nice. All right, that was slick. Oh, I got so lucky there. Oh. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. You see, it just takes a moment for it to actually load up the, the shot. So you got to be real careful with it. Um, at first, you know, I really hated this weapon. But now that I actually understand how it works, it made it so much better. You know, you have to aim right at the red dot. You're not aiming for head. You're not aiming for leg. You're not aiming for anything. You're just aiming for the red dot. That's it. Red dot, boom. And you don't have to charge it all the way. It still does a ton of damage, so it's whatever. And then as you start uh, getting more cards, it's going to get a lot easier. So you want to try to focus on whatever you feel like is the most important thing to you. Right now, I'm actually working on uh, getting cards that complement like reload speed. And also, um, I'm trying to get the one card that makes it so that when I'm down... I actually recover from it faster i think that's super important for these sniper type classes really really important okay and then uh this mission this part of the mission what i like to do is actually just shoot the eyes on the side here you see these actually they, they do a ton of damage to him and you don't have to worry about really like trying to do the whole downstate thing um another thing that's really important with this part of the mission is that if you actually wait until it's almost to 90 percent you see the little machine in the center you can actually put the the elf or the whatever the hell is called um olive you could put the olive thing inside of it right at 90 percent before he like breathes fire on it you know so that's uh that's something to keep in mind also oh, wait. he's gonna start throwing some fire at me i'm gonna shoot this other eye what And pop. Alright, you see right now. This is the time. Put it in. Got it. Oh, 
Ah, this thing keeps like going right in front of me. All right, now he's gonna bring the arms out. With this part, you just wanna. Oh. All right, let me go around the other side. There we go. Yeah, 90 of a cent yet? Oh, yeah. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. The olive. Alright. Let me back up so that guy doesn't shoot at me while I'm doing this. Okay, run. Now the arms are gonna come down. Oh, shit. It's lasting like a hell of a lot longer than I thought it was. Shit. I didn't realize. I could've took advantage of all that. One leg down. Oh shit. Oh, I'm screwed. Shit. Okay. Oof. Oh shit. Wow, I got so lucky there. So lucky there. Wow. Alright. I don't have any olives, so I'm gonna have to just do this the normal way. Let's just shoot the eyes out. They're being extra stingy with the like sniper people. So the only way to really damage him right now is to do the, the whole like shoot him in the eye thing. Okay, boom. Shoot him in that eye. You don't want to shoot him in his main eye. His main eye doesn't do any damage. It's not even worth it. You want to shoot him in the side eyes. Which <laughs> that's pretty funny just saying that side eye. I'm always joking with my girlfriend all the time. Uh, we have a little rabbit. And with our rabbit, it's basically like she always likes to give us mad at mad side eye. Like she'll look at us from the side of her eye, you know? Yeah, you know, and whenever she does that, it's a, it always feels like she's just uh insulting us there we go got rid of that side eye okay finally there's some of the sniper people showing up so now what i could do is once he starts breathing fire or whatever i can actually just uh go in shoot him in the left eye the left eye the one he has closed is the one that that takes the most damage oh come on with your freaking fat hand in the way pop Let me go grab the sniper. All right, so now shoot him in his left eye. There we go. Now I can go and do it. Let's finish this. I want the sniper to shoot me. Come on. Oh, come on with this freaking thing in the way. There we go. Boom. All right, next. Come on, I need one more olive, please. There it goes. Okay. Ah, I didn't want to kill him. I was hoping to just injure him. There we go. Okay, we got a sniper. Go ahead, right four. We we'll need to run. We we'll need to run. Okay, let's finish this. Oh shit! Ah, damn it! I saw him in the corner of my eye too, man. That bastard. All right, I'm gonna get him. Oh look, he's injured. Let me go get him. Go 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 go! Fucker's injured. Oh, I got so lucky. I was like a millisecond from getting sniped. Okay, there. Let's end this. Jesus. All right. Well, that's Shay. I mean, this is probably a long ass video, so I'm going to cut a lot of it probably. But uh, I've been in this mission for probably like 30 minutes. Anyway, that's Shay. 
hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if you didn't and i'll be back hopefully to do some more uh videos on each of the weapons on shay uh so stay tuned for that uh just gotta get the gold that's all i need but anyway later guys